This idea is to cut off my leg. Just see me. If they cut off my leg, where will I go to? Where will I go to? Where, where do I go from here? Please, please, be on the prayers for me. Talk to God Almighty. I don't want my leg to be cut off. Please. My correct, correct people, how na day? I hope say all we day fine. The worst thing, the worst unimaginable thing, it don't happen with Mr. Ibu. My people, we all know say Mr. Ibu don't do battle with his health condition for some time now, and this make him for stop acting. I know see some people they with him no know who we Mr. Ibu is. Mr. Ibu na Nigerian Nollywood actor and a comedian mr ibuna a very funny man his real name na john okechuku ikechuku okafo so na his real name that so mr ibu don't come today he don't come out the cry please say make the world and his fans colleagues and his family make they help him make his stand back on his feet Currently, right now, Mr. Ibu de Hospital, according to wait way, his wait way, he and his family, his wife and his kid, they talk. Say he don't be for hospital right now for about two weeks, and the, the result where they come out right now where the the doctors they give them now say they get for cut his leg. My people, for this world, for this life, if you not get leg, how you want carry all your daily activities? So Mr. Ibu don't come out the plead. Say many people help him. Say he don't spend everything where he get. So now, so he don't go bank up. Many people help him. So now his account number this way they for screen here as we see right now as you watch this video now he account number this way it day for screen if you be say you get anything i beg just send them through this his account number and not be only money even your prayers them too it be important mr ibu the cry for all mr ibu say he beg may people pray for him he no want to make the court his leg say he beg may people pray for him and may people support him for the little things where they will get so my guys if you are watching up to this end and you are not subscribed and you like what i'm doing please look on your screen you see a red icon that shows subscribe you hit the subscribe button like share comment and turn on the post notification bell so whenever i dropped a new video you go be among the first people where they go first be notified and where they go be first people for watch to my amazing subscribers i appreciate you guys so much i do not take your love for granted you guys are amazing you are the best your pocket shall never run dry in jesus name amen so guys without wasting much of your time let's dive right into the main reason for this video mr ibu don't come out cry and at the same time where other uh, veterans them they come out car cry so it means say for this nollywood i don't understand it be like say love no really day for this nollywood like for real because now only the top celebrities the top actors them not them did they ever come out car cry beg for help so i don't really know whether now i know in short i don't understand because some people don't come out outside right now for cat drag mr ibu says since we're there for nollywood he no get money the few say he gets money he over get money because he be comedian at the same time he be an actor so they know things say if he can't come out for cat cry but they forget for no say mr ibu don't sick for a long time Mr. Ibu don't deceive for a long time. The other time last year, would news be commotion? Mr. Ibu don't buy. So the video they be fly up and down. All photos and be will be fly all sides. See Mr. Ibu, he don't buy. So guys, I go end here for today. See you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to pray and support for Mr. Ibu. Bye bye. Hello, my name is John Ikechuku Gafo. Mr. Ibu, I have been down for so. So, so, so many weeks. All I'm hoping is your prayers and assistance. I've been in the hospital so as I speak to you. I'm still lying down in the hospital. The medical director of this hospital said the, the best solution is in case 
His new idea didn't work. The best idea is to cut off my leg. Just see me. If they cut off my leg, where will I go to? Where will I go to? Where, where do I go from here? Please, please, be on the prayers for me. Talk to God Almighty. I don't want my leg to be cut off. Please. Thank you so much. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Dear Nigerians, first of all, good day from wherever you're watching this video. We want to appeal that um, at this point, as a family, we want to appeal that people should come to Daddy's aid and rescue. So for the past two weeks, Daddy has been very down. We took him to the hospital. Personally, I've been sorting out the bills, thinking it's something I can do alone. Mommy has been at the hospital for like two weeks now. The kids are at home. We've been doing everything humanly possible to make sure that he gets back on his feet. You know, as a family, we, t we thought it's something we can actually do. We thought we could sort it out on our own and he'll be fine. But he's not getting better. Some days it looks like it's better, the other days it looks like it's getting worse. As we speak now, we are still at the hospital and they want to refer us to another hospital because it's not getting better. And we are at one of the best private hospitals in Lagos. So we are appealing that if there are any individuals or any organization that can at least fly daddy to abroad to get a better treatment because this is not the first time this daddy is down like this daddy has been down or down or back on his feet down again so if he's not getting better here in one of the best private hospitals in lagos i think we need people that will come together if possible fly him abroad so that he can get better treatment as a father he has been fighting for himself like He's been fighting. He wants to live. He wants to fight this. He has been trying to be strong. So please, we are appealing to anybody that can reach out, please, as you see this video, if you have the capacity to help daddy. Personally, I'm exhausted. Personally, this is the bill they just gave us from the hospital. We have been the ones sorting. I personally have been the ones sorting out this bill. But I'm drained financially. I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. Please, I'm calling out for help. My fellow Nigerians, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. Please, I am begging you people. My husband needs your help right now. He's been down. He's in pains. He has been crying. Please, come to help him. You need to help him now. He needs you people right now. As a wife, you know, because of the children, because of people around him. Please, my people, please come and help us. We need you people now. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes, please help daddy. Help us save daddy, please. Thank you so much. Also, please, if you can support daddy in prayers, add it in your prayers. Add me your good thoughts, your best wishes. All we want is for Daddy to be fine and back to his feet again. Those that can support financially, please do not relent. We are hoping and we are trusting that together we will help him win this battle. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yeah. He needs your prayers now. Please, my people, let's pray for him. He needs you. He needs you, people, please. Please, my people, I beg in the name of God, please help me. Thank you. <laughs>